I'm hearing you. Oh, is this sorry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing you from the Division of Past Medicine at here at the University of Edinburgh. So I'm going to present to you an example of a, what I think is a successful multidisciplinary project uh, where there was no big room between the, the uh, scientist and the doctor. Also, my partner, Terry Swinna, EPCC is not there to agree with me, but um, you're just editing my work for it. Um, so this project was born from the need that we had um, at the division to uh, analyze post genomic data, which is high throughput, high dimensional data. And um, we've reached a point where we could not analyze this data on you know, desktop computer. We had um, uh, too much data, we ran out of time, we ran out of memory, we ran out of space, and we needed help. So we turned to EPCC for help because we wanted to use more computing power, which in itself is not, it's not a big deal anymore because, as you know, it's been mentioned in the previous talk, you know, you've got the cloud, you've got supercomputers such as Acta, we've got Eddie here at the university. And it's fairly available, but what we lacked was the skill to make use of these, you know, additional computing power, which which are the skills that EPCC have. So we just uh, um, started this project about um, two years ago now. It's been going on, and um, well, one of the key things that we didn't want to um, have EPCC produce a um, um, special code, you know, just write one of the script as one off and run this analysis, and that was it. The, the important point for us was that we wanted to be able to um, run those analysis on a regular basis ourselves. So again, to echo some of the other talk is that you need to give the right tool to the right people. So we don't want them to do it for us. We want to be able to you know, run those analysis ourselves. And that's what the Sprint Framework um, is about. So it's um, a power framework which allows us to run analysis scripts so that's uh, in the the R programming language, which is what we use to do our analysis, and allow us to do it in power easily for bio statistician and biologists, and that's a key point. It's easy for us. It's not. You don't need to be a power programming expert to do this. Um, so I've got a few um, strengths of Sprint there. So it's been able. To, we, we that's allow us to um, analyze bigger data sets to do it faster, and um, to tackle how. <coughs> Problem. So there are loads of uh, other two ideas which just tackle you know, embarrassingly power problem which are easy to analyze and uh, Sprint doesn't do that. You know, we, we can focus data dependency, which is something that um, is specific to us, and it's easy for user. So um, I've got some of the um, example of what we're working on at the moment. So there's analysis which I, I'm currently you know, working on an actor, which is the UK supercomputer, which we couldn't do um, in-house. And to give you an idea of the, the computation that we wanted to do, there was barely enough computation, so we just simply didn't have the time to do so. So that's running on actor. The problem that, you know, we have now is that because we're able to do those analysis much faster, we can do more of it. So my problem now is that I'm producing more data, even more data. So that script at the moment, the way it is, I've run to little sample, and if I run the all analysis that I want with all the parameter, then I'm <coughs> gonna generate more than thousands of terabytes, which I can't store. So I've got to go back and, and just change this analysis. And to us, this is the next challenge, is what you do with you know, the, the large, and large amount of data that you can now analysis with, um, with Sprint. So also this script only, um, it's a simple analysis. So if you want to do more sophisticated analysis, such as machine learning and um, more um, you know, explorative analysis, then you know, it's even more complex. Um, so we're looking for partner to just take Sprint further. So if you've got um, lots of data that you want to analyze with R, then um, come to us and uh, we'll see what we can do. Or just have a look at our tools and um, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Thank you.